Democratic presidential hopefuls taking center stage tonight as the first test of this election season draws near. With the field now whittled down considerably, the top six contenders took a few shots at each other, but mostly at President Donald Trump in Iowa, where the first caucus will be held in less than three weeks. Well, the candidates also finally spent some time talking about foreign policy. CBS's Skylar Henry reports from Des Moines. Foreign policy and presidential leadership took center stage at the Democratic debate in Iowa following the Trump administration's strike in Iraq that killed Iran's top general. Donald Trump is taking us pell-mell toward another war. We have got to undo what Trump did, bring that coalition together, and make sure that Iran never gets a nuclear weapon. Senator Bernie Sanders pressed Joe Biden about his record on Iraq. I did everything I could to prevent that war. Joe saw it differently. Uh, it was a mistake, and I acknowledge that. Former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg was the only military veteran on stage. When I am president, any time, which I hope will never happen, but any time I'm compelled to use force and seek that authorization, we will have a three-year sunset. I was first in the nation. Caucuses are less than three weeks away, and a strong debate performance could influence voters here and give the winner momentum in the primaries that follow. Sanders and Elizabeth Warren were asked about their recent dust-up. Uh, anybody knows me knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. I disagreed. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women, Amy so and me. The candidates again disputed their differing positions on health care. We save money, comprehensive health care, because we take on the greed and the profiteering and the administrative nightmare that currently exists. The Affordable Care Act right now is 10 points more popular than the President of the United States. Uh, so I think the answer is to build on it. Half of the candidates on this stage are obligated to participate in President Trump's upcoming impeachment trial in the Senate, which could cut into their time on the campaign trail. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Des Moines, Iowa. Well, this was the seventh and smallest Democratic debate yet. There are another six candidates seeking the nomination who did not qualify for the matchup tonight. And